Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 47. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. Alrighty-o, we are here for the Bilstein 250 horsepower runoff. I believe they're a suspension company or something, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Your current car is in the wrong class for this event. How is it not legal? Upgrades, you can make the car oh eligible. shit, I've got too much power. What Your can I do then? Your car is in the wrong class for this event. By removing upgrades, you can make the car eligible. Okay, so I can remove stuff. Okay, anyways. We'll start off with New York Circuit, moving on to Silverstone, Circuit de Catalunya, Suzuka Circuit, and then finish off with Twin Ring Mategi. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Yo. Audi. Rum, rum, rum. This thing's quick. Really quick, actually. Jesus. This thing is flying. This has the maximum amount of horsepower that we're actually allowed as well. So it's got 249. Obviously, the limit is 250. Uh, it's four-wheel drive, but it weighs an absolute ton. And yet, it's still outperforming quite easily, actually. Which is uh, nice to see that it's not going to be uh, tedious to drive this car. Gosh. I have literally chugged an entire can of Red Bull in the past hour. I don't recommend it. Uh, I don't even have a reason why I did it. I didn't even feel very tired then. Good start so far. Very nice. It does surprise me a little bit how short these gears are. They're actually fairly short for a um, sports car. Or a road car that's like advertised as a sports car. Wow, the first three gears are fairly short. The last three are fine. Probably a bit long to be honest for a sports car.
I just heard an alarm go off. Is that on my phone? No. Strange. in round the corners. Blowing through my jeans. Probably shouldn't have made that. <laughs> Satisfied. good so far. I like how my best lap is slower. Oh wait, no, last lap that is. Last lap is slower than my best lap. And I hit a wall. Gotta get better. Oh, so that time we were actually faster, but we hit something apparently. You've got mail. How would you rate the most important piece of future FH5 update? Shit. I don't understand why they're focusing on cosmetics so much in Forza. They need to focus on, like, actually making the game exciting. Adding limited, like, adding content to the game that's not just a limited time event. Once they do that, I think Forza Horizon 5 will be fine. But they just... The only event in Horizon 4, right, that wasn't limited time that they added was some of the, uh, what's it called? Stories. And I believe the other one was that cyberpunk event. Every other one was limited time. Here we go. Audi! I really don't like the look of this Audi TT. This is one of the worst Audis that has ever been made. I'll be 100% honest, but they don't have the new TT in this game. I don't know what year they made the newer one in. I think it was 2011. Or 2009. I think it might have been 2000 and either 2009 or 2010. So I assume it's going to be in the next Forza. But yeah, it's definitely not in this one. Because uh, the newer TT was... I know 100% it was in Gran Turismo 5. That, 2010, 2009, 2011, whatever year it came out, that Audi TT was the most beautiful Audi that has ever been made by Audi. That's how good it is. 
in my opinion. I love it. Do, do, do. Just breathe. Bad. That was a terrible corner. Car wouldn't go round. Oh, I so desperately want to get a Steam Deck. Nice. Yo, reloading, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. What time is it? It's quite dark now and the lights aren't even on yet. I might have to adjust the time that the lights turn on. I'm doing good, thank you so much for asking. Best memories. Hands, do us a favor, attack the simp boss. <laughs> you can't. What do you mean you can't? Done. Were you not? Have I gone the wrong way? <laughs> I turned in the wrong track. <laughs> I was going to the wrong track. <laughs> oh, sorry, hands. <laughs> Go for the night. Those will be the best for me. 
Hey, hey, do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, do, 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 do. We got a new simp boss. Do, 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 do. Uh, well, he's the one who asked to not to be unsimp bossed, so I don't know. Those will be the best memories. Those will be the best that would be for me. Hey, hey, do, 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 do. We might actually finally have a chance for someone else to be simp boss. Not bad. That was a long race. I still can't believe I went the wrong way. I went the smaller route. Like, that's how bad muscle memory can actually be. To the point you go the wrong way on a racetrack. <laughs> Also, after this one, I think, after the next one, we might be level 50. So yeah, we got a new simp boss. Ta-da, jazz hands. Can't deny it. Not too bad. Where are you now? Couldn't find you anywhere. This is a tune, I love this. What are you hurting? I didn't break quick enough. Feels like I'm driving on jelly. Storm my way through the barriers. What car is that? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Something's not right. For some reason, we're still listening to the song Sulphur by Slipknot. Hang on, let me get on the straight and figure what's going on with that. Ah, I didn't enable the song grabber, that's why. That makes sense. Still not... Ah, there we go.
to keep you warm. Bit of a corner cut there. It's not ideal, but it'll do the job. I still can't believe. So in Motorsport One and Two, we drive the fastest cars right at the end. So it's like we're always building up to the fastest stuff. But in this, because of how mixed up it can be, we've already driven the fastest cars in the game. And then went straight to the slowest cars. It's crazy. And we're going to do it again. Because once we get to the bottom of this, we'll be back at the fastest cars. And then we go back to the slowest again for the world tours. To then go to the fastest. To then go to the slowest, to the fastest. For the Amalfi Coast and Nürburgring things. It's like going back and forth. And I like it. It mixes everything up. You got fucked up on a night owl. Yeah. Pack up your shit and go. Pack up your shit and go. <clears throat> so don't call this number anymore. Or is it a tune? This is a good one. I can't trust you anymore. <laughs> One more lap to go. One time thing. Go, go, go!
I love how spread out those, um... Well, they're concrete barriers, but they were probably made of plastic. With how easy they were to, uh, move. Oh, I forgot I need to shift up. I thought I was in third. They're just photos and football. Nice. Repsol, YPF. What the fuck's YPF? He's that? Got 12 grand. Ah, oh, we're 500 XP away. Okay. After the next race, we'll be 100% level 50. And if not, then the game's broke. It's the game's fault. Suzuka. Alright, very nice. By the way, just something I want to say. Um, this series, right, although on Twitch, um, has been doing same as how uh, Motorsport 1 and 2 has done. On YouTube, the numbers are incredible at the moment. Typically, um, I've seen, obviously, over the past two years, the YouTube views have trailed off quite a bit. But they are picking up. Like, we're seeing... I think episode 10 has just gone up. At the time of recording this. So, we are miles ahead. But there's a reason why we're miles ahead. Because uh, three week break um, means no content for can be recorded for three weeks. So... Um... Pretty much all of these videos are up in early access at the moment. So if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe for early access. And they're not called subscribes on YouTube, are they? They're joins, they're channel memberships. Join the channel and then you can uh, get some early access to these videos. But uh, yeah, we're seeing like... He's... Typically, I would see 10, 15, 20 views at the most in the first week of a video going up. And then it would start picking up after that. Um, so there's quite a few series like Dirt 2 did so bad. Like it was like seven or eight views per video. And now some of the Dirt 2 videos are in the 200s, 300s. Like they pick up a lot later on. And most of the time I don't notice it until I go back to it and then I'm like, what? Gran Turismo 5 playthrough that I've done is a great example. That thing's picked up after a while. The first few episodes were like 40 or 50. Even when I finished Gran Turismo 6, they weren't even getting up to 100. I think it was about 60 when I finished Gran Turismo 6's playthrough. Uh, and now it's getting 20, 30 views every 24 hours, easily. So it's pretty cool to see that these videos pick up later, which sort of, this has me a little bit excited for the future of this series, only because if this video has done so well at the start, if it does pick up and these this series does pick up later on, could see it go into the thousands, which would make it my most popular series besides Car Mechanic Sim. Car Mechanic Sim's been undefeated for three years, let's be honest, so. But it would be nice to have something get a second place that I've recently done. That would be quite nice. I know this is definitely going to be my longest series. It's going to have the most videos, so. But that can be done quite easily. Motorsport 4 is going to be longer than this, so. Which, again, this gives me hopes for Motorsport 4. Because Motorsport 4 has its largest uh, player base. Motorsport 4 has the most sales out of every force of the game. So... Um, could see it be a bit successful, that series. I'm hoping it's more successful than this one. Mm -hmm. 
keep your hopes up. I'm surrounded Can't live without it Go, go, go Yo, yeah, okay, Kate, what up? Good, Kate. Thanks so much for asking. I don't actually have a drink on me, which is uh, kind of funny. God, it is getting dark. Not bad. Good race there. About seven minutes. I will take it. We got 12 grand and driver level 50. We got 2009 Peugeot number 9 Peugeot Sport Total 908. And we got a 20% discount on displacement upgrades by Audi Motorsport. This game, I believe, doesn't have the extra levels beyond 50. I think Motorsport 4 gives you extra levels beyond 50, but then it doesn't give you cars. It gives you um, credits, I believe. So. Oh, that's not the car that I thought it was. But it does look cool. So I will take that. Thank you very much. I thought it was that concept looking one. Really weird, odd, strange thing. Alright, here we go. We've got the Audi. I want to use the Peugeot. Game, can you let me use the Peugeot, please? I would like to have a Peugeot. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's fast. Vroom, vroom. Oh, this is a full, full circuit, I've just realised. I've been driving this track a lot in MotoGP lately. Um, I'm actually quite enjoying it because it's a bike game that's actually fairly accessible. Um, when you compare it to other games like Ride... Alaman TT, those are a lot less accessible, so um, yeah, been quite enjoying MotoGP. And obviously, when I start WRC, I'm going to start planning my next Mega Series at that point. So MotoGP could be on the options list for another Mega Series. 
maybe something else. Uh, a Need for Speed one. But if it was a Need for Speed one, it would be um, Black Box, Criterion, and Ghost Games era. It wouldn't be the full, like, old school Need for Speeds as well. If I was doing a Need for Speed Mega Series. Just because I don't really like the older ones. Which was the first black box Need for Speed, actually? Was that, um... Most Wanted, 2005? Or was that the second one? I don't know. I'll have to do some research. But that's what I'll do when I start WRC, because I ain't planning a third Mega Series yet. I'm still in the process of planning WRC, because I have to play through uh, partially some of the games, just so I understand what the handling model's like, and if there's any quirks that I need to iron out before playing it, because otherwise it's just an absolute nightmare. Like, for Motorsport 6, I've got to iron out a lot of physics quirks, because that's really difficult to get used to compared to uh, the other Motorsports. Uh, and it's very similar to, um, Horizon 2 and Horizon 4 and 5 as well. Because there are, as soon as I start Horizon 1, Horizon 2 is going to be a pain in the ass. As soon as I start Horizon 2, Horizon 3 is going to be a pain in the ass. So I got to iron out those quirks that these games offer as well. Planning these series hasn't been easy. Waiting for love, waiting for love to come around. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. I've just realised stories are basically the bucket lists. It's only just collect. When they went from uh, Horizon 3 to 4, they got rid of bucket lists and replaced them with stories. And that's what stories are. It's only just clicked. Well, um, great. Well, I'm excited for the uh, bucket list stuff. Because uh, I've never actually finished all the bucket lists in any of the Horizon games, like two or three. And I haven't done all the stories in uh, four and five, so. Tuesday, I was through with hoping. I think they're three to nine in Horizon 5. In Horizon 4, I think they're either seven or ten. Like, the DLC ones are seven, I believe. But I think they're ten for every other one. In Horizon 4, if I'm not mistaken. I still got to look into getting uh, Horizon 4 on Steam. Um, the only thing is... So, they haven't announced the delisting of the game yet. They haven't announced that they're delisting Horizon 4. But it went on sale quite dramatically over the weekend. For the past week. So, I've bit the bullet and not bought it yet. Because technically, it, it's not even four years until um, September the 29th. Once it hits September the 29th, that'll be four years since um, 
Horizon 4 released. And coincidentally, September the 29th is the date that my first ever YouTube video went live on uh, YouTube. For this channel. I did have other channels beforehand. I used to do, um, like, Top Gear challenges. I used to uh, go on Motorsport 6, right, and record myself trying to complete a lap around the Top Gear test track and seeing if I could beat the six time in that car. It was fun. I should do those again for, like, a um, thingy, a stream one day. That'd be awesome. Good result there. A little bit of stuttering from the game. Uh, that's 11 grand. Our driver level's completely maxed out. So it's only going to be car level upgrades that we get from now on. Oh, gutted. Absolutely gutted, lad. Anyways, we got 23 grand in bonus credits. And that is that event done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.